Uh, good morning. It is Country 93. Well, we love our country. Some Jason Aldean when she says, baby, 811. I'm Travis Roberts here with you. And, of course, because it's Friday morning, we have a co-host. It is Mr. Paul Olenek. Hello. It is uh, currently in Portage foggy and zero expecting a high of plus four today yeah pretty comfortable one out there although uh because of the warmer weather things are melting making it a little slick on the highways so be very 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 cautious and let us know what you're seeing 239-2986 uh paul let's delve right into it Tell me a little bit about yourself. Did you grow up here in Portage, or where'd you grow up? Uh, actually, it was North Caldonan, uh, okay. East Caldonan area in Winnipeg. Wow. Uh, but I made my way to Portage, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, the year was, I think it was 1994, going way back oh, wow. then, uh, starting my first job in television at the uh, Manitoba Training Network. I mean, uh, MTN. Mani- Manitoba MTN. Television Network, <laughs> and we had a we had a blast there. I used to uh, put together the spots for the movies. Oh, nice! To entice uh, viewers to watch, basically cutting trailers and uh, that's cool. working with uh, some very talented people and uh, having a lot of fun. They let me have a lot of creative uh, <laughs> creative input. So uh, yeah, it was it was a great job, and then uh, I ended up. Uh, when A Channel Calgary opened up, I ended up in Calgary. Wow. And then uh, doing the same thing out there and almost ended up in Sacramento. I had uh, <laughs> had an interview out at uh, WB Affiliate out in Sacramento. They flew me down wow. and uh, offered me the job, but uh, my green card didn't go through in time. Oh, so okay. uh, I was a little bit disappointed about that. But uh, another opportunity opened up at uh, Movie Central. Uh, which used to be Super Channel, out in Edmonton, and uh, same same job, same job, cutting trailers. Wow! Uh, and I took it, and it was a lot of fun. And then I, uh, I got into programming and some other things. And then, uh, lo and behold, the uh, the president of the company wanted to move the company to Toronto, and uh, and nobody uh, wants to live in Toronto. Nobody <laughs> wants to live in Toronto. So you know, it's like, uh, no, I don't think I'm going to move down there. And, yeah. Uh, and then uh, I, I discussed it with my wife, and we decided to move back to Portage La Prairie because nice. that's kind of where we kind of met each other. Uh, well, we met each other in Winnipeg and then Portage La Prairie, and then, you know, and and we thought, oh, Portage La Prairie is close to Winnipeg, you know, so it's not too far from a big city. Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. you know, it, uh, it it's a nice little town. It's uh, People don't drive like maniacs. <laughs> Well, so, some do. Well, some, some do. When some I'm do. on the road, it's yeah, a little Yeah, that's right. Well, like, you got to be careful when Travis is on the road. <laughs> or sidewalk or whatever, <laughs> you know. Uh, well, yeah, obviously, it's been really exciting. I have to ask, though. Uh, this is going back because you, you were talking about MTN. I used to watch MTN as a kid. Oh, yeah. Did you ever meet Beavan Buckley? I have met <laughs> Beavan Buckley. You know, uh, it's a funny thing because... Uh, if uh, if if uh, there's some listeners out there who remember um, Bundy's late night review, I don't remember that. No, you don't remember that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little young. I only watched Beaver Buckley. That was okay, it. Okay. Well, it. Yeah. Uh, Bundy uh, Bundy was my boss, Kevin Dunn, and okay. uh, he was the voice of uh, Buckley. Oh. And uh, so he used to do that. He used to come in, and uh, we'd be cutting trailers. Next thing you know, he he pops in and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Here's the birthday boat today. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me that Beaver Buckley were, are not real? Like they're not uh, real well, people? Yes, they are absolutely real oh, okay, for the kids okay. out there. Yeah, 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 they are real. I don't want to scar anybody out <laughs> that there. Is, that is, okay. no, they're, they're, real. they're real. They're real. Oh yeah. 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 They, yeah, yeah. You can you probably can have touch a syndicated them. morning show down in the the states somewhere. Yeah. I'm guessing. <laughs> well, you know, it's I, I can't I can't say what happened to the bee, but uh, you know. Um, it was good work in the window. Oh, yeah. Very talented guy. It was Adam Rickner. He's nice. no longer around, though. Oh, okay. He's no longer around. He actually passed away. Oh, okay. So, but, uh, you know, it was great working with those guys and had the opportunity to write for them at one time for a little segment for them. So, it uh, nice. it was a lot of fun. That sounds awesome. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit more about uh, Mr. Paul Olenek, who joins us for the entire hour. We also, coming up, are going to give away some charity tickets. Because why not? It is Friday morning. So, we want to hook you up. 
It's all part of the ticket window brought to you by Tim Hortons with two Portage La Prairie locations to serve you. Make sure you get out there. Try their new pulled pork sandwich. It is delicious. Uh, stay listening for your cue to call. 239-2986. Keith Urban now. Break on me. 818. Travis Roberts in the morning, and it's Mr. Paul Olenek co-hosting. Currently in Portage, it's foggy and zero, expecting a high of plus four today. All right, right now it is your cue to call, 239-2986. We have a pair of Terrier tickets to give away. All part of the ticket window brought to you by Tim Hortons with two Portage La Prairie locations to serve you. Make sure you check them out for their brand new pulled pork sandwich. Uh, This is the last Terrier home game of the regular season. They're facing off against the Steinbach Pistons. Now, there is a question, and we will ask it as soon as we have somebody on the line. Who do I have this morning? Jen. How's it going, Jen? Good. That's good. All right. So uh, I'm going to give you the question, and then you're going to have sort of uh, another opportunity to answer it. So here you go. 15% of people in a new sleep study say they have been known to fall asleep here. Where is it? Now, before you answer, you can either take a shot yourself or pass it over to Mr. Paul Olenek. Which one are you going to do? I'll pass it. All right, Paul. So same question to you. 15% of people in a new sleep study have been known to fall asleep here. Where am I talking about? Oh, we're talking about the couch. The couch? Uh, No, not the couch. Oh. Try back again, Jen. All right, next caller. Who do I have on the line this morning? Kevin. All right, Kevin, are you going to answer? Are you going to throw it off to Paul again? Well, I think Paul might have a better chance. All right, Paul, it wasn't couch. 15% of people in a new sleep study say they have been known to fall asleep here. Where am I talking about? Oh, geez. Uh, If it's not the couch, it must be... (laughs) Uh, It's a lower number. 15%. 15%. 15%. So I'd say uh, a classroom? Classroom? No. (laughs) There's a good guess. Sorry, Kevin. Try back again. All right. Okay. So not the uh, couch. Not a classroom. We had somebody on the line. They got scared. Run away. Uh, 15% of people in a new sleep study survey said they've been known to fall asleep here. A pair of Terrier tickets up for grabs. They're playing tonight against the Steinbeck Pistons. Good morning, Country 93. Who do I have on the line? You got Kevin back. Oh, Kevin. All right. Perfect. Uh, do you want to try or do you want me to throw it over to Paul again? Oh, I think I'll give it a try. All right, Kevin. 15% of people fall asleep. Where? In a vehicle? Vehicle? Ooh, that'd be dangerous, but no, no, not in a vehicle. Good guess, though, Kevin. Oh, man. Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, get off the roadways. All right. Uh, good morning, Country 93. Who do I have on the line? Jen. All right, Jen, man. Kevin and Jen. Uh, eventually, I might just have to split the seats. All right, Jen. Are you going to take a go, or do you want me to throw it off to uh, Paul again? Mm, I'll try. All right. 15% of people fall asleep where? Uh, I'm going to say Church? Church. Ooh, no, not church. Good guess. Blasphemy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's good enough. At least we're narrowing it down. Hey, who do we have on the line? Uh, Holly Mason. All right, Holly. Here we go. 15% of people in a new sleep study fall asleep. Where? Uh, do you want to answer? Do you want me to throw it over to Paul? Um, no, I'm going to try and answer. Um, okay. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm thinking of my husband when I say this. Okay. But he's got a really comfortable... Uh, Lazy boy chair. Okay, lazy boy chair. No. Good guess. So, Oh, man. Comfortable lazy boys. That's what it's all about. Hey, who do I have on the line? Oh, man. Maybe they were going to say lazy boy. Ooh, it is getting hard now. We have gone through a bunch of calls. Bunch of guesses as well. Good morning, Country 93. Who do I have on the line? B. All right, B. Here we go. 15% of people in a new study fall asleep here. Where am I talking? Do you want to answer or do you want me to throw it over to Paul? I'll answer. The okay. washroom? The washroom! Yes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I really? was wondering. Yeah, would, uh, they were talking about their husband. They're saying they have a very comfortable, I was waiting to say, your toilet, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it never, never came. So, yeah, B, congratulations. You win yourself a pair of Terrier tickets. You're going to check them out tonight against the Steinbach Pistons. Congratulations. I won't get you Thank to you. stay on the line. Grab all your details. There we go. The bathroom, Paul. The, the bathroom. bathroom. I don't I sh- know. I should have caught that cue <laughs> earlier because you were talking about about toilet paper and Kleenex yeah, and everything else. And, and we are going to be talking more about that coming up. The bathroom, it's, it's an okay place to fall asleep on maybe if you're on the right. toilet. If you're in the bath, that's probably not a good idea. No, 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 exactly. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, Give it away, Terry. Tickets. Part of the ticket window brought to you by Tim Hortons. We have a look at your weather forecast. That's coming. Currently in the plap, uh, Portage La Prairie, that is. It's foggy and zero, expecting a high of plus four today. Now, me and uh, my wife, we always seem to have an argument. I don't know what it is. We argue about the most ridiculous things, like butter or margarine. <laughs> this time around, though, this time, we're talking uh, toilet paper 
or Kleenex when it comes to blowing your nose. Uh, I'm I'm for toilet paper. I mean, it's cheap. We have a lot of it. You can buy like you know 16 rolls for 10 bucks, something like that. Kleenex, on the other hand, is a little little more expensive. Right. Yeah. What are your thoughts? My thoughts, well, it all depends on the brand, right? You know, mm. the toilet paper could be, you know, that uh, cheap, rough stuff. And, and <laughs> the one then, then, then your nose is like, uh, you know, it looks bulbous after it's all <laughs> said and done. But uh, I, I, you know, I agree with you. I, I do not splurge on the Kleenex. I will go for the toilet there paper. Nice and cheap. There we go. Another vote for Travis or toilet paper. Uh, either way, what are your thoughts on this? Toilet paper or Kleenex? Which would you prefer? Which do you usually use to blow your nose? You know, it's that time of year. Lots of coughs going around. Is, oh, yeah. Stay away from me if you're sick. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> Answer that up in our Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash country931fm. You can also give us a call this morning at 239-2986. JoJo Mason, good kind of love here on Country 93, where we love our country. 838 is your time. Travis Roberts in the morning, and it is Mr. Paul Olenek co-hosting. Currently in uh, Portage, the temperature is zero and uh, foggy. It's starting to uh, dissipate a little bit, but uh, expecting a high of plus four today. Yeah, finally, a uh, little bit more visibility out there. Can almost see Tim Hortons. Almost. <laughs> almost. We're, we're, we're getting there. Uh, now, uh, of course, we brought you in to chat with you, hang on, have a lot of fun, give yeah, some stuff away. Yeah. Uh, but we also wanted to talk about the upcoming play that you are uh, directing, you're involved with. Right. How has, well, first off, what is this play? What is called? This play play is called Done to Death, and it's being done by the Prairie Players, okay. uh, who have been around for years since uh, the late 60s, mm, been wow. doing plays in Portage La Prairie Community Theatre, and uh, the play is called Done to Death, and it is a mystery comedy which parodies everything from Agatha Christie to James Bond, nice. and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Now, you, uh, uh, I was going to, sorry to interrupt, I was oh, going to say, okay. you, you roped me in to doing this. Yeah, I did, <laughs> I, I did. I, I'm excited about it. You know, I, I don't have a lot of free time, but uh, I do like getting involved in right. theater. I was in the in Midsummer Night's Dream, which was a lot of fun. So I thought, why not get involved in this? Uh, I play probably the most prominent character. Oh, absolutely. Known, known as man. Man, man, yes. Just just man. Just man yeah, it's it. just like, you know, it's just like one of those characters from Star Trek that uh, yeah. just disappears or whatever. <laughs> it's uh, en- Ensign number two. Yeah, <laughs> right. I played a tree in Star Wars. No, it was, uh, it's great. I, I, I have a total of six lines, right. so hopefully yeah. I can memorize them. Oh, before. yeah, you're just opposite, uh, uh, oh, uh, Preston, what, Meyer. Pre- Preston Meyer. Preston Meyer, yes, right. yeah, so. Uh, he actually has a name, uh, George. He does have a name. <laughs> He does have a name, so uh, it's good. And you play the, uh, well, they call it the ne'er-do-well, right? Ne'er-do-well, yes. The ne'er-do-well. Sounds very nice. Uh, Sounds very, <laughs> very enticing. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for this. Uh, things have been uh, going well for uh, rehearsals and whatnot like oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still early stage. Sometimes I feel like ripping out my hair. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's good. Everybody's having a lot of fun, and uh, uh, they're, they're being very creative with their characters, and it's 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 fun to see them uh, developing. Nice. Now I know uh, it's a little bit in the future, and, mm-hmm. and maybe you don't have exact dates yet. When will this hit theaters? When can people buy tickets for? Coming to a theater April twenty eighth, twenty ninth, and thirtieth at the. Uh, and, of course, the William Glesby Center. Perfect. And uh, tickets will be available pretty soon. You should be starting to see some posters at the end of this month and all around town. And you can get your tickets by calling the William Glesby Center. And uh, I don't think they have them yet. But uh, just uh, keep your eye out for that. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And, again, uh, I mean, you should go just because I'm in the play. Paul's oh, involved in uh, it. Yeah, well, <laughs> Travis alone, you know. As man. As man. <laughs> Yes, all right. Uh, Coming up here in a few moments, we do have a chance to play a game with our Friday morning co-host, as we always do. Uh, We get to play a game that uh, was actually our first one for the Friday morning co-host series. It's known as Headlines. It's coming up after Randy Hauser. This is We Went on Country 90. It's titled Headlines. All right, this game is uh, pretty simple. I give you a headline from right. an article that I found online. Okay. You have to guess whether it is true uh-huh. or, or false. Okay. All right. Here we go. And it's, okay. It's ones that happened over the last uh, month or so. So <laughs> okay. this isn't like I'm not jumping oh, okay. into something, something in the current, 60s. Okay, eh? so I should be it's on current. top of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, number one, drunk monkey threatens men at Brazilian bar with large knife. 
Drunk monkey threatens men at Brazilian bar with large knife. I do believe that is true. That is true, yep. There you go. The animal, which uh, lived nearby, found his way into a bar. Uh, patrons <laughs> thought it would be funny to give him some drinks, and then he grabbed a knife and started threatening them. Oh, so bad, dear. <laughs> bad idea gone worse there. Uh, number two, man turns back hair into art. Man turns back hair into art. Oh, that's that, that's got to be true in this day and age. <laughs> it is true, yes. His name was Mike Wolf. He's uh, 35 from Idaho. He was sick of uh, shaving it, waxing it, trying to get rid of it. So he thought, why not get a friend to yeah. do something creative to it? And now he takes pictures of his back and yeah. sells it. I'm sure his name's Gross. not Darren. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, I won't geez. go there. Uh, oh, if he's listening geez. right now, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, come on. Um, all right, number three. Friday is bring your gun to school day. I don't believe it's butter. You are correct. Yeah, it's uh, not a real headline. However, in saying that, this is ridiculous. This came down uh, the wire yesterday. University of Austin, Texas, has now passed a ruling that they allow their students to bring guns to classrooms. Ridiculous. It's, only in, a, only and, in Texas. And this is true. This is true. Yo, I thought you were... Oh, man. Well, the that's the headline was false, but the story is somewhat true. Oh, wow. So that's unbelievable. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, it is. it is. All right, uh, number four. Winnipeg woman raps wildly about woolly wolves winning. Winnipeg woman raps what? wildly about woolly wolves <laughs> winning. Wooly Wolves. Wooly Wolves. Who's Wooly Wolves? What is that? I, I, <laughs> that's the headline. Well, maybe it's not. I, I, come on. I, I, I don't believe that's true. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Doing four for four already. Yeah, I just made that up. I was trying to think of something that rhymes. The Wooly Wolves. Alliterative. Yes. Yes. Nice. <laughs> All right. Number five. Uh, final one. You got this. You aced it. Here we go. France set to smash B.O. record. France had to smash B.O. record. <laughs> I know. It's, oh, uh, yeah. dear. That's so... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't believe that's a headline. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Oh, it is a headline. Oh, however, no! However, it's a bit of a trick one because B.O. doesn't stand for body odor. Oh. It stands for body office. They were trying oh, to have box I should have clarified that with you. But see? it was, it was uh, funny. So I don't it, win the car, right? Uh, that's <laughs> yeah. it. Uh, oh, you know, oh, should have the bum, 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 <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Yeah, the, There you go. Price is right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul, you, you did uh, four out of five, though. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. No, pretty good. Not too bad. All right, stick around. Uh, we have uh, your final wrap-up here. We're going to talk a little bit more on the play and uh, also some interesting news regarding toilet paper and Kleenex. That is all coming up here on Country 93. It's the Friday morning co-host series and Mr. Paul Olenek joins us. The final break. What is the weather looking like today? Well, it's warm right now. Currently, it's foggy and zero. Warm for February, that is. <laughs> Expecting a high of plus four today. Yeah, anytime you have anything above zero in February or even March. Oh, uh, no kidding. <laughs> that's a win. That's a win. Uh, all right, so we've been talking a little bit about the uh, play that's coming up. Done to death. Put on by Prairie Players. You're right. involved in it. It's going to be a very exciting uh, process. I know you said there's sometimes a little nervousness that goes into it. Any oh, early yeah, stages. absolutely. <laughs> Worrying if everybody's going to get their lines, but I'm sure everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. They usually pull it off. We gave them a deadline of the end of February, but, uh, you know, uh, we have Pam Stinson, one of the teachers, going to be queuing people. So I think she'll uh, whip them into shape. I don't want to anger Pam Stinson. Nope. (laughs) No, No. I don't. Yeah. No, no, we're not going to go there. (laughs) Uh, But it's going to be a lot of fun. And again, it's all happening at the end of uh, April, right? End of April, uh, Thursday the 28th, uh, Friday the 29th, and Saturday the 30th. 30th. Perfect. Now, uh, tickets uh, might not be available quite yet, but they should be uh, right around the corner, so make sure you grab mm-hmm. up those, uh, mm-hmm. whether you want the Thursday, the Friday, or the uh, Saturday evening. Now, Paul, a little earlier in the hour, we were talking uh, toilet paper versus Kleenex. <laughs> it's a very serious... <laughs> yes, a serious, serious, serious business here. <laughs> yeah, it really was. Uh, you know, with uh, colds uh, circulating around Portage yeah. right now, there's oh, lots of people sure. need to blow their nose. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I mean, if Kleenex or toilet paper is readily available, you're going to use anything other than your maybe your sleeve. 
<laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Wipe it on you. Yeah. But uh, we needed a clear cut winner. And um, myself, I'm a big fan of toilet paper. My wife, mm. Kleenex. It has to be Kleenex. Oh, it cannot be toilet to be. paper. I don't know what it is. She's got the sensitive nose. That, yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> now, I totally, uh, you know, every time I bring up an argument, yes. and I mention it here on air, yeah. I am so far behind my, my wife, like, everybody yeah. sides with her. Nobody really? sides with me. Really? It's every time. She whips your butt every, every time. Every time. Everybody okay. always says, you're wrong, your wife's yeah. right. <laughs> However, <laughs> oh. I have tallied tallied these up, and uh, Kleenex got a total of six votes. Right. And, and these are specific votes. Some right, people said right, they yeah. used both. Yeah. Toilet paper gets seven. You know what? we got to celebrate. <laughs> Woo! Good. Who's going to be the king of the household Something today? Something that never <laughs> has happened before. Awesome. All right, there's my uh, little dance. You like that? Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah, oh, I know. Uh, Something that <laughs> never happens. I win! I win in arguments! And that is that. Uh, Paula Linick, thank you so much for coming in this morning. No Matt. problem. It was uh, it was a pleasure. I had a lot of fun. And, uh Yeah. Thanks, Travis. Hey. Looking, looking forward to seeing man, <laughs> the man, the man. All right, all right. If you want to hear this uh, entire hour podcast, you can find it at portageonline dot com. A little bit later this morning, if you missed anything like the game we just played, or of course me winning the argument with my wife, which was awesome. Uh, it will be up at the Country ninety three blog. We have George Canyon to wrap up your eight o'clock hour.